Hey everyone, welcome to React Native Made Easy Tutorials. And today we are going to discuss a feature which is in great demand these days. And yes, you are reading it right. It's making React Native app offline ready in two minutes. Even if it takes you more than two minutes, I think it's not a big deal. So basically, we are going to uh, make our app React our app offline ready that is offline friendly in no time. So uh, I will continue from the point where we left our last tutorials and you can access the link of our last tutorial here by clicking here. And uh, so we, we will just modify two of the files of uh, uh, what we did in our last tutorial and we will say, uh, st install one package uh, that is a React a Redux package. So let's get started. So your first thing you have to install a Redux persist uh, node package that is uh, and uh, once you install this package successfully uh, you can see I have installed this package here uh, Redux persist. So you have to install this package and after installing this package, we, we will start modifying our code. So first we will modify the index.js file that is the index, uh, the file inside inside the actions uh, directory. So we, uh, we have to first uh, comment this part that is we are not going to make a dispatch request because uh, we are, we have to change the uh, loading indicator logic a bit so we are not going to show a uh, indicator as we were doing before okay so we have just uh, commented this line of code and next thing we will be doing is that we will check the this categories that is being returned after the api fetch is uh, what's the value of that uh, this category whether it is uh, it has some value or whether it is undefined. So we will put a check here if categories okay not equals to undefined and same check we need to put for products so we will put it here uh, so if products not equals to undefined then the next code should execute that is this dispatch will execute only if the categories has some value and it is not undefined and same thing for the products so this dispatch for products will execute if products is not undefined okay so we are done with this part and before i go ahead and make uh, changes to my index ios js because only these two files we have to change and not any other file so i will show you that how our app is working uh, right now so if i reload my app then it should load the products and categories okay so it loaded the product and categories perfectly so let's go ahead and block the that is comment the dispatch uh, the line that is making the dispatch and the line which is fetching all the products and categories from the api so here i am commenting this line and now let's reload the app okay so you can see that when i commented this line the products has not been loaded so now let's go ahead and make the changes to this 
index iOSJS file and we will again see that the changes that we make how it affects the app so again I uncommented this line and you can see the loading is working perfectly so this line is basically responsible for uh, fetching the products and categories so now I will go ahead and make changes to the index iOSJS and the new index iOSJS will look something like this you can go to my website and you can go to the article making react native app offline ready in two minutes article and there you can find this code so this is the new code that I'm going to use and this is the code that is working right now so I have a copy of this code here I will just copy paste it so that we don't have to spend time typing it okay so this is a new pro uh, new uh, uh, new file that is new index iOS JS and I will show you the changes that the, the basic changes that it has so here I have uh, added redux persist and I have imported two of the uh, methods that is persist store and auto rehydrate and also I have uh, imported compose from redux so these are the main things that I have imported here and the next important thing to notice here is this line so previously we had something like this we were uh, assigning the store constant like this but now because we are using the redux persist so the syntax for uh, assigning the store is using this compose method and the compose method can be used like this and we are using the auto rehydrate that we have imported from Re redux persist so uh, this is the one important change that we need to make and then we have added this constructor and in the constructor we we are assigning a, a rehydrate equals to false a new this is the state that we are assigning and in the component will mount we are using the persist store this is the line responsible for uh, saving the data to the disk that is uh, the data that will be fetched it will be saved to the disk and uh, whenever we go offline uh, it will have the last uh, fetched data on the disk and that will be injected to the store so so once it's injected to the store our store has the last uh, viewed content uh, in our app and if the the internet connection is there then store dispatch will work if the content internet connection is not there the store dispatch will not work because if uh, the if there is no internet connection then the this categories and this products will come as undefined and this dispatch and this dispatch will won't take place so these are the main changes that we are making and this rehydrated equals to false state we are using so that uh, there is a loading text when we are when the app just initializes and once the data that we have saved using the persist redux persist uh, that is loaded then this this will disappear and the data will be visible on the app so let's go ahead and sh see this as in action and see how it works so I will reload my app right now we we will persist the data so our data is in the store now now if I go ahead and comment this line then also remember this line this line was fetching the data from the API 
so when we were commenting this line before then we our uh, app was coming as blank but now if i if we comment data it shouldn't come blank because we are we have persisted the data so let's go ahead and see this okay so you can see that we are getting the products list even though we are not fetching it from the api because first thing that's happening is that the data that is on the disk that has been persisted is getting injected to store and that is visible on the app and if there is internet connection the updated data is also uh, is getting injected after that if there is no internet connection then it's not getting injected so this is how we are basically making our uh, offline friendly app work so i'm sure you would have found this uh, tutorial very helpful and very uh, this feature you would have you will find very amazing because i really find it amazing and uh, this will really provide your app edge over other apps which don't have this feature so thank you so much guys for watching this and please do subscribe to the channel please subscribe to the newsletter we have on our website and stay tuned to all the activities that happen on react native mate easy we uh, we keep trying uh, our best to put the best uh, features of react native forward on our website and our on our channel so thank you guys so much and bye bye